The new presidential budget was revealed and it shows which federal agencies will be experiencing growth later this year and next year. Overall, this budget has the entire federal workforce growing by 1%. That doesn't seem like a lot, but consider there are over 2 million federal employees in the government right now. What's 1% of 2 million? About 20,000. So we could be seeing 20,000 new jobs. The first big winner is the IRS. For the second consecutive year, the president has desires and ambitions to grow the IRS for two main reasons. One is for collection to get more of that tax revenue. Two is to improve customer service because when you call the IRS, you are on the phone for an exceptionally long period of time. If you keep your eye on federal hiring events, you would see that just about every single week, no matter what the month is, almost every week, there is an IRS hiring event. And these are for different positions. One might be for a collection revenue agent, and the other one might be for a shared administrative position. But they're out there, and they're virtual. You could, you could attend them anywhere. And if you aren't getting these, I email out a list of all the virtual hiring events every week. If you want me to send that to you, sign up to the free newsletter down below. The IRS is also looking to expand its direct hiring authority. This comes from OPM, and the IRS is not the only agency doing it. A lot of agencies are doing it. Overall, the IRS is hoping to hire 7,000 new employees this next fiscal year. They're also requesting $100 billion over the next 10 years in order to meet their staffing goals. The next big winner is the Energy Department. DOE should see an increase in staffing by 18%. This should result in over 2,000 new employees being hired. And this is mainly for two sub-agencies. The first one is the National Nuclear Security Administration, and the second one is the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. This is mainly for engineering jobs, cybersecurity jobs. There'll also be admin jobs mixed in there as well. If we jump onto usajobs.gov, we can see that there are currently 167 open jobs in the Department of Energy. Next, we have the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. They're looking to add 2,000 new air traffic controllers with a 14% increase in their annual budget. They really can't get enough of these controllers. So they're making a larger effort to get the word out and try to recruit these people in. Next, we have the Social Security Administration. This agency, they need employees. They're at the lowest staffing in decades. They need help. And it's not a surprise. If you talk to anybody who's worked at the SSA, a lot of times they have horror stories. They have too, too big of a workload or a toxic supervisor or there's always some issue. That's why it turns into a revolving door. People go in for a few months and they realize, oh wait, this is not for me. I need to escape. Where's the exit door? And they leave. So this is something that they're dealing with. They also had to force a hiring freeze due to the budget problems. And they're missing over 700 people from their call centers. They're missing over 2000 people from their field offices. The SSA is looking to add probably about 5,000 new employees in this upcoming fiscal year. Then we have the Department of Homeland Security looking to hire more than 11,000 new employees. A lot of these people are gonna be border protection, immigration, process coordinators, and judges. We also have the Department of Justice planning to hire 3,500 new employees in sub-agencies like FBI, ATF, DEA. Interesting thing about federal law enforcement positions, if you want to be a law enforcement officer, a lot of these positions, they come with an age limit. So there's a low limit and there's a high limit. On the upper end, usually they don't want you to be older than 37 years old. If you're a veteran, there's exceptions. There's a waiver. You can come in at 40 years old a lot of the times. On the lower end, usually you have to be 21 years old, or I think in the, in the Secret Service, you might need to be 23 years old. So depending on the agency, they do have those age requirements. There's also a mandatory retirement age, which is usually at 57 years old. So take that into consideration if you're interested in a law enforcement career in the federal government. Now, there is some bad news, and this is with the Veteran Affairs. The VA has been hiring a lot of people. Ever since 2019, there was this huge hiring surge, and it never really went away. They hired 72,000 new employees but this trend is looking to reverse. In some locations, the VA 
has paused hiring. This is called like a hiring freeze. So they're, they just completely stopped the hiring process. And they have also admitted to revoking a lot of job offers. So if you're sitting there right now watching me and you have a job offer from the VA, this should make you somewhat worried. You want to get that EOD date, right? I tell a lot of people, a lot of times, do not be satisfied with this, just the tentative job offer because those can be revoked, right? Don't even tell anybody about your job offer until you have the final job offer. That's after all the security process is done, the fingerprints, the picture, all that stuff. And with the final job offer, you have an EOD, entry on duty date. That's your first date at the job. Once you have that date, I would go ahead and tell people, tell whoever you want. But also for your peace of mind, I would say it's not 100% official until your first day and you're sitting down in the chair in the agency, then it is official. Now the VA is still going to be hiring. It's going to be more of a targeted approach. So they're going to strategically look at geographical areas like, hey, there's an office in Kansas. We need people. Let's hire. That's still going to be happening. But for the most part, we are losing some jobs here. We have the VHA losing the most jobs. We have the VBA losing about 4% of their workforce. Most of these losses, they're going to be coming from attrition, people leaving the agency, going to better and brighter opportunities. Also, people retiring. They're not going to backfill those positions. So that's how they're going to decrease their workforce. We don't anticipate any type of RIF reduction in force occurring. This budget is not completely official yet, but this gives you an idea, an insight on what's important to the politicians currently running our country. This is where they see the government heading. Now, if you're looking for a job right now, I would encourage you do not just focus on one federal agency. There's a filter on usajobs.gov. You can select agencies to focus on. And I talk to people sometimes that want to work specifically for the Department of Justice or NASA or whatever, whatever agency. But I would say leave it open, completely open. Because believe it or not, there are some agencies out there, you've never heard of them. And there could be opportunities within those agencies that really benefit you a lot. So keep everything open with your filters when it comes to the actual agency. Also, if you're in the federal hiring process and you're waiting right now, you're waiting for something, whether it's your fingerprint appointment or you're waiting for your final job offer, do not stay frozen. Keep applying, keep looking for opportunities because it's never 100% guarantee. So do not get too excited. Do not get too committed to the job offer you currently have. Keep on looking and applying for those better opportunities out there. If you are looking for a federal government job, the OPM just released a playbook. And this is basically giving guidance to all the human resource offices on how they should recruit and retain a lot of their talent. There's a lot of strategies in here that if you know it, it could end up benefiting you. If you're interested in that, then I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.